Hey guys, Mika here, and um, I'm always excited to bring you folks another beautiful Peter Marrero's custom ukulele. This is his tenor size custom cornerstone ukulele, and it's always a treat to play these because these are one of those, they're the cream of the crop instruments really um, in the ukulele, in the custom ukulele world. Um, really love Peter's work. Um, this ukulele of his boasts really, really nice, kind of darker colored cedar top. And then on the sides and back, uh, one of my newly, I guess, newly kind of favorite woods, uh, tone woods for the sides and back. Absolutely crazy, dark, chocolate, beautiful Zirikote um, wood. And in fact, I think Zirikote has a very strong chance of becoming uh, my next set of tone woods if I were to get my next custom ukulele. Uh, really love the sound and the tonal qualities um, of Zirikote wood. Um, it's dense like rosewood, but it, it has a lot of that sweet, warm sound for someone like me. That's the kind of sounds I like to look um, in an instrument. So this instrument definitely has that nice, warm sound. And that's very, um, it's very typical of a cornerstone ukulele like to boast a lot of warm sound. But the Zero Quote, it really puts it over the top and just, it's a, it's a stunning instrument. But anyways, really, really nice uh, grain pattern here with the slight, you know, the tiny, the tight grain patterns along with just the, the curls and the, the, the stripes with the Zero Quote. And here on the sides too, it's just really, really, really nice. Take a look at that, take a look at that. Then on, on the top and back, we have um, Black Ebony. And then we also have ebony here on the bridge, here on the fretboard, and even on the headstock. Um, you probably noticed by now, but this ukulele boasts some pretty cool patterns or designs around the rosette and on the headstock as well as the fretboard. Um, that is a Polynesian tribal um, kind of design. And I can't really get the color name right, but I like to think of it as it's more like of a turquoise kind of color. Um, using reconstituted stone or recon stone here on the, the rosette, here on the 12th fret and then here between the first and second fret. And then we also have like that half sail shape here on the top, having that nice turquoise color. In fact, turquoise is one of my top three, top five favorite colors. It's a really beautiful mixture of my two favorite colors, blue and green. Well, green being my absolute favorite color. So really, really pleasant, really, really nice to look at. And you know, those, the finer details too, like having um, typical, again, of a corner silicone, like having that um, abalone purfling or shell around the fretboard and even around the headstock. Um, and then even here around um, the side or the perimeter of the, of the instrument. So really, really nice. We have this nice um, rest arm guard here. And I actually have to talk to Peter about this, and I really appreciate that he you know, pays attention to these little details, but with this armrest, his armrest actually goes all the way down almost to that kind of that butt of the instrument or almost down to like this halfway point. And what's really good is that, you know, we're all different in terms of how we play ukulele, how we hold our instrument. You know, for people like me, I'm more classically trained and classically um, minded when I hold my instrument. So I like to hold it at this 45 degree angle. So when I come over, Pretty much, I'm on. I'm riding that top portion of that, like of the, of the armrest or the bevel. But then there's a lot of people who are, you know, more casual when they play. They, you know, want to have their instrument more down like this. So the bevel goes down far enough to where if you're holding your instrument like this, it still captures your arm and you still have that nice, you know, bevel and that nice armrest right there. Versus some instruments might only have a bevel like right here at that 45 degree angle or, the, or in that corner. Meaning that if you play your instrument too low, then it's, you're not going to be able to utilize that bevel. So I really appreciate appreciate that about Cornerstone's um, ukulele. It's, it's this nice, comfortable bevel. Especially when you're, you know, if you were to get this instrument, you're guaranteed you're going to be playing it for hours because this is an um, absolutely amazing sounding instrument. So it's good to have that. Um, and then along with all the other Cornerstone's ukuleles, he has his side port here or his side sound port with the three leaves right here on the side. So signature thing of Cornerstone. Uh, we have a stained um, mahogany neck, gloss neck to match the colors of the Ziri Colte. Very, very beautiful. I love um, Peter's work on his on the necks of his instruments. Um, so yeah, and then we also have Gotol tuners here on the headstock. Gotols is one of the best tuners you can get there, get out there on your ukuleles. It's really um, practical. It's really easy to tune. It's really it's really good with the micro tuning. You know, getting really nitty gritty with that perfect tuning. Gotol tuners are one of the best out there. Um, and yeah, so this instrument is 
absolutely fantastic. Um, before I forget, I do notice that there is a radius fretboard here on this instrument. And for me, I typically do love having radius fretboards or playing with them, as I do think it makes that small, that extra small difference um, when you're holding your bar chords or just holding chords um, in general. So um, that's what I got for you know talking about the beautiful aesthetics of this instrument. But now going into the sound, um, Cornerstones, in my opinion, it, it, it some of the sound qualities that kind of immediately come to mind is that um, Cornerstone ukulele is a very warm sounding. So when I strum like a C chord, automatically you can hear that, that wall of warmness, that really sweet tone that you're gonna get from Cornerstone. But uh, Peter's instruments are extremely well balanced in that if I were to go ahead and pluck on the A string, and even on the E string, it's extremely articulate. It's not money, you're gonna, you know this instrument is really warm and there's a lot of warm and sweetness to it. You still can get that nice articulation of plucking. Like if you're a finger style player. Yeah, it's really, really nice. Again, you're gonna get that nice warm, sweet tone. Especially when like, man. When you vibrato a whole chord like this, this F major seven chord, it's really, really nice. D minor seven, G seven, C major seven. Whew, really nice and sweet. Yeah, on that 15th fret, you hear that nice ping. Really, really nice. I mean, that's just, that's just what you're gonna get when you get a top tier instrument like this. This, this instrument is fantastic. So I'm sure you guys want to hear me play something on this. So let's get straight into the sound sample. Here is, I have no idea what I'm going to play. So we'll see what happens. We'll see where this instrument takes me. So here we go. Here's the sound sample. Let's go in G this time. Here's what this instrument sounds like with a little bit of strumming. Mm -hmm. 